United calls to reform the Minneapolis Police Department. A majority of the city council members said they support disbanding the department entirely. Here in Houston, one city councilwoman isn't going that far, but she is in favor of making significant changes to HPD, and that would include reallocating millions of dollars meant for the department. Channel 2's Mario Diaz continues our team coverage with a closer look at her proposal. Mario? Lauren, Council Member Letitia Plummer says nearly $12 million currently sits unused. She says that is money that can be moved to have an impact with youth programs as well as with further HPD training. This call for reinvestment in reform is something that Mayor Turner himself is also hearing about. To invest in these communities where you don't feel like the only option is to police and incarcerate people coming from these communities. That's what they're wanting. This is the ask being made right now, according to Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. One of those asking, City Council Member at Large, Letitia Plummer. A lot of people think that we're defunding the police department, and that is absolutely not what we're doing. In the wake of Houstonia and George Floyd's death, how police departments nationwide, including HPD, use their funding is being scrutinized. There's a push to allocate funds that are not being utilized while not diluting the number of cops on the streets, including here in the nation's fourth largest city. These are not positions that would be held by a police officer. Um, these are positions that have been open between six months and three years. Plummer believes in moving dormant funds to further bolster officer training, as well as youth programs, one of them being the city's My Brother's Keeper. Our youth are literally the beginning of where it all happens. If we can save them early on, we can prevent them from getting into the system. Mayor Turner has heard the calls and understands the desires by various members of the community. So they want to make sure that we're emphasizing the importance of de-escalation, training, crisis intervention, those sort of things. Now, we did reach out to Chief Acevedo and HPD to see if they were available to weigh in with comment. Of course, today's events have kept them quite busy, so they have been unavailable. As for HPD's own union, I spoke with the president, Joe Gamaldi. He would not weigh in with comment at this time, but he did add that he's looking forward to see how things play out with the budget process scheduled for this Wednesday at City Council. Live downtown, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Mario, thank you for the update.